So welcome everybody to our podcast. Today I've got a really special guest and I'm really excited to introduce you to uh, Sari Shamani. And Sari and I are going to be running the most wonderful creative art and yoga retreat. We've got two happening, one this May 2024 and one in September and um, Sari is a fabulous yoga teacher. She's going to tell us all about it. And we're both really excited to share these two wonderful creative things together with the art and the yoga. So, hello, Sari, how are you? <laughs> hello, hello. Yes, I am fine. I'm, I'm very excited about this, these coming retreats with you. <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to be sort of, you know, something a little bit different because, you know, I've run art retreats before and you've run, run yoga retreats before. And, um, you know, I have I had, when I was sort of thinking about what I was going to do this year, I thought, wouldn't it be interesting to combine? Because, you know, actually when we feel relaxed and um, with our bodies, when we come to paint, new things happen and I think that you were having a similar thought when we were chatting that the art might be an extra extension for the yoga so <laughs> what what were your thoughts when I when I asked you about it well for me it was um, a dream come true because I feel that yoga with yoga, yogi, yogic practices, we can um, renew ourselves so that as we come to this creative uh, art retreat, we can also, through yogic practices, we are kind of like letting go of the old stuff and old uh, patterns that uh, that are going on around in our minds and in our actions. And so we can let go of them and make space for new to be discovered and and to be inspired of, of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what so, I was thinking. Um, what what yeah. kind of yoga is it that you 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 do? You know, and who who are the people that you do it for? Basically, two questions. <laughs> well, uh, I have. Um, I have learned to share and adapt adapt yogic practices um, um, in different settings. And now in this kind of retreat, um, I want to share these soft and gentle practices that people are really aware of what is good for me now, how I feel comfortable with these practices. I, I give the opportunity to every time to make the best practice for you there is no theory or nothing uh, no asana asanas that are that we are supposed to do no but mm -hmm. we have the option to to um feel how we are going through the yogic practices also the physical asana mm -hmm. practices we are going towards that silent place. Our mind will go uh, slower and slower and we will find that peace and silence within, which is okay. the place uh, to, to create some new. Absolutely. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And um, so you basically any age, you know, I'm, I'm getting a lot older now. <laughs> And my body is is not as wonderfully flexible as it used to be. <laughs> and I've had a hip operation and I get a lot of challenges with my back and my hip. So, and you know, people our age tend to have a few, um, you know, wonky bits that don't work as well as they <laughs> used to. Does that make a difference with what, with what you're teaching? Um. No, uh, I mean, you are, you can do all these practices uh, with help of props, 
we can use blocks and cushions and blankets and chairs. Uh, you know, there are many people who rather sit on a chair as we are doing sitting positions. I think that's me. <laughs> I prefer yeah, to so, sit on it. Even to get on yeah. the floor is a bit of a challenge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we have opportunity to do that. We have okay. different options. Okay. Yes. Okay. I yeah. mean, it's, you know, for me, um, you know, perhaps for those people who don't know me in the past, when I was a lot, lot younger, I was a professional dancer. And a lot of the problems that I have now are as a result of overusing, you know, joints and stuff like that. Um, and I miss I miss the movement. Um, so I'm really kind of excited to actually see what it what it is that I still can do being guided. You know, I know what I, I think I can do myself, but I'm always a little bit nervous of trying other things without um, some help, if you if you know what I mean. So I think yeah. it's going to be a um, fantastic experience to to be able to find out, you know, what my mobility is at this stage and i do feel you know when i was thinking about it with the with the art and the yoga is you know that freedom that we feel when we're even when we just extend yeah. our arms and breathe yeah really you know, it's, it's it's kind of a relief isn't it to to the body and i feel that when we bring that into painting it becomes very authentic and um satisfying you know rather than thinking about what we should do and get tense in case we don't do something beautiful or we think we don't know what we're doing and all that stuff it kind of that will all lift up and allow a pathway to find new ways of expressing ourselves with painting i i feel it, it is exactly like that that um you cannot be very creative on doing art if your mind is busy and your mind is kind of doing making doing the same kind of paths and doing the same kind of usually we have these kind of uh we we think that we are not good enough and i don't know if this is going to work and this and that and that but with movement with practices and uh tuning ourselves into that free space that mm. everything is possible that's what we can do with movement and yeah. we will have a lot of free movement also and beautiful music and yeah. all sometimes in silence and just listening like the palm trees the, um, yeah absolutely yeah and of yeah. course the, the place is so special you know it has such a wonderful energy there doesn't it yeah and it sorry is. and i visited it um again last week and um, it was quite it was quite a breezy day, wasn't it? But it yeah. was wonderful because there's these huge, big palm trees, and they were all just kind of flowing in the wind, <laughs> and it, it it just yeah. generated such an amazing energy. And the views it from there really, are fantastic. Really, from, you know, the sea to the mountains to the village, and I feel that the whole place lends itself to. Um, you know, really getting in touch and connecting to our creativity. So that is uh, true. It's going to be, I think, a very um, special, special time. So let me let me ask you about, you know, obviously the I, I and I don't know so much about it. There are different forms of yoga. So you've obviously gone through, you know, different trainings of different kinds of yoga is that right well yes yes um yes and no <laughs> okay See, i i got to know of um 15 years ago uh, my path led to know about integral yoga which is like the most holistic uh and um how do i say it uh so that in integral yoga, we are not just doing asanas, but we are just developing... Tell us what asan, uh, asanas is. Sorry, asana Sorry. is like uh, the, the yogic uh, physical practices, like the postures and um, oh, okay. the, the physical pr practices. But um, uh, as yoga, as, it, as the word yoga means already union, 
And it is okay. a union of body, mind, and spirit. And okay. in Indra, in Indra Yoga, that it, it approaches also yoga in that way that we are developing our mind to be more focused on this moment and we mm -hmm. are we are becoming more aware of what kind of uh, thoughts I don't need anymore and which are kind of like have developed during our lives maybe also past lives but we become more aware of at the same time as we are doing gentle practices so that our energy the prana in us will uh, flow freely okay and uh, yeah and that's by practicing here and now in a way that we appreciate our body and honor our body and accept it as it is so in that way we get in touch with our true self which is the divine mm -hmm. consciousness or whatever you want to call it but we go beyond mind and body to that place which which yeah. all the creativeness is, mm -hmm. is um, it's so interesting from. because you know as you're talking I'm thinking you know those are the things when when I'm painting and when I'm teaching and talking um on my various videos and the workshops and classes that I've done I'm I'm always talking about you know trying to get rid of that voice in the back of your head that says all the the stuff that we don't want to hear <laughs> and and yeah. to really sort of focus on our connection with ourself with our subconsciousness if you like and just recently you know I moved house quite recently only just over a month ago and my studio and the house that I was in before was really quite small and it was quite dark and I used to have to kind of go outside regularly to stretch and to give myself a little bit more air and space. And the new house now is is full of light and it's got a wonderful space and I've got a really yeah. lovely new studio, which I'm thrilled about. Yeah. <laughs> and it's I had a real that. kind of impact on my on on my on myself, but on on my painting. Um, but when I first came, I was kind of a bit disorientated and I was thinking I need to just find a way to, you know, refocus and, and use this space differently. And yeah. I, you know how things suddenly come to you. And, you know, I'm a YouTube fanatic. I love watching stuff on YouTube. <laughs> and, you know, it comes up with recommendations for you. And it came up with one on Zen painting. And okay. um, I, I thought, oh, that sounds interesting. So I put, mm -hmm. I put this on, and, and I think it was called um, The Way Out of Emptiness. And it was this most wonderful Chinese guy called Lok, I think. I'll, I'll put, I'll put the, the link to the video in the description yeah. below. Yeah. Anyway, he, he, his, he was kind of doing the most in, uh, beautiful kind of in the moment paintings and he was using it for healing and he'd had a really um challenging life he'd he'd have to, he had to leave china when the japanese invaded and his his with his parents to america and his father died and then his mother died and all this incredible emotional stuff and how he managed to process all this was to start the zen practice and zen painting and he was wonderful <laughs> so I thought okay that sounds great for me so I've been doing his exercises and you breathe and you relax and you paint directly from what you feel in that moment and it's really had a fantastic in, um, impact on me I'm having a whole different insight about painting and about movement and everything and I think it's going I'm going to combine that because it goes so well with the yoga and the meditation 
the two things yes. come together yes. perfectly. So I'm I'm excited. I'm I'm exploring it more and more. I mean, even if we want to, you know, do some of that 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 beautiful movement with those lovely Chinese brushes and ink as a starting yes. point for a painting. But you get yes. into that mode and suddenly yes. something I found myself, something else is really taking over. <laughs> yes. And I'm going, yes. wow, where did that come from? <laughs> yes. The, so we become uh, the instruments for the yeah. art. Yeah. We yeah. become that. We are not like pushing it, but mm. we become the vessel or instrument. Yeah. yeah. And, and and it yeah. really, it, it, it kind of validates what I was thinking about putting the yoga and the art together. Because I feel that if you've got you, if your body is relaxed, if you got your circulation moving and you're breathing deeply and you're in that wonderful state physically, it's so much easier then to move into being creative with your painting. You know, you're kind of setting the scene correctly rather than just going into the studio, picking up a brush and saying, oh, you know, what am I going to do today? And da di da di da you come with a whole different intention. And yes. I feel that that's really powerful. And <laughs> one thing also that um, uh, this kind of retreat, uh, no matter if you are a beginner in art or in yoga, uh, or you are advanced um, uh, and in, in any area, Mm. But uh, in in this kind of retreat environment where there are people who are you can share the energy with, and usually the energy is um, even affecting affecting us, so that we we become it's more easy for us to be in that flow because there are yeah it, it just happens that in a group it's easier to continue being in that uh mode yeah i i totally say. agree yeah. yeah because you yeah. you pick the energy from everyone and if, yeah. if we're all focused on the on the same thing it kind yeah. of it really blossoms doesn't it yeah 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 well i'm really yeah. pleased that you said that about you don't have to have had experience in yoga before yeah and yeah. You, certainly, you don't certainly don't have to have had experience in painting before because yeah we want the whole thing really to be fresh, you know, to ha to not come with yeah. a lot of preconceived ideas, but to come with yeah. an open mind and an open heart to explore the possibilities. And yeah. um, I think that is is something that's quite important to to know because I think people get nervous. Obviously, you know, it's a whole new thing. And, you know, many yeah. people are coming from different countries and, you know, making a big commitment to come. So I feel yeah. that it's so important for them to feel safe and confident that there's no, if you like, in a way, there's no preconceived conception of, of anything. It's going to be open and free and exploratory really <laughs> yes and it might happen that we have beautiful pieces of uh canvases to take home but it yeah. might be that we have it we, we don't have to be productive but it may might, might have might happen that <laughs> <laughs> well you know to me those those kind of paintings are all masterpieces because they're yeah. authentic and yes you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. What somebody thinks is wonderful, somebody else won't. And, you know, as an artist, for you know, being an artist for a long, long time, it's always so interesting to hear, you know, especially if I have an exhibition and you kind of eavesdrop on people's conversations. You know, yeah. some people will say, oh, wow, that's fabulous. And then other people will say, oh, God, I don't like that. <laughs> Yeah. You know, and, and who's to say, does it matter? I think the point is that if if we're coming from a place of authenticity and true creativity, whether somebody likes it or not, they will get the feeling of that energy. 
You know, for example, if you're aware of somebody that comes into my mind, Jackson Pollock, you know, with all his his dribbles and scribbles and this and that and the other. And he was very revolutionary at the time because people would just say, oh, he's just thrown paint on the canvas. But the energy in it, you I've actually seen them in the flesh. (laughs) Excuse me. And the energy, you can't help but feel the energy in it. You, you've got, there's a dynamism. So, you know, whether you put a dot on the paper or whether you put a great big scribble on it <laughs> or, <laughs> yeah. or you muck up all the colours, if it's got the energy, you still feel it, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, all, it's all valid, you know, no matter what. I do, I'm, I'm more interested in painting exciting paintings rather than pretty paintings (laughs) yeah yeah. and I feel that you know from that space we're far more likely to be painting exciting paintings (laughs) (laughs) we're not going to be there you know doing every little branch on a tree or petal on a flower because that's not what this is about it's about creativity and energy and connection to our to our being (laughs) yes yeah and i i really like also the idea that uh that in every morning you have the opportunity to come and do yogic practices gentle yogic practices to prepare your your yourself for the day and then we have the beautiful breakfast and after Mm -hmm. that we will start out the creative mm-hmm. art exactly. session. yeah and then in the afternoon or uh, if, uh when whenever we feel that it now it would be a good time then we can have another kind of like a relaxing type of yoga so that we can mm-hmm. kind of uh thank ourselves for this today's work yeah. and uh, and yeah. And then you never know, after we've had dinner, we might have a party with dancing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> and we've got some yeah. we've got we've got a fantastic trip planned yeah. in the middle of the week to go to Granada to visit the Alhambra Palace. Yes. And yes. um it's only an hour away and it's a beautiful journey because you go through the mountains and then the olive groves and then you see Granada. I actually went last week because my son lives in Granada. And it was stunning because it was a really hot day. It was very sunny, but the mountains all had snow on the top of them. Oh, it was absolutely beautiful. So it's a lovely trip. It's an hour. And then we'll yeah. go around the palace. We've got, we're going to have a private tour of the palace and the gardens. And then uh, we're going to go around the um, the wonderful area of the Al Baisin, which is great. And we've got a, a, a tour of that and to have a, a lovely lunch somewhere where we can see the Alhambra Palace. <laughs> yeah. So that's going yeah. to be um, a, a magical day too, completely different, but inspirational, I think. <laughs> I am so sure. I am so sure, and it, it's uh, it's nice to have uh, to have a trip uh, somewhere and to come back again. And maybe there you bring also some some something that next day will come come out of you. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, yeah. 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 So um, and then we we obviously will go and um, we'll go and visit the village, uh, Frigliana village, which is the second prettiest village in Spain <laughs> okay only and, the second uh, okay the, I the thought second. that it was the second unfortunately yeah. it's not the first one it's the second one <laughs> but it's yeah. so it's so beautiful and it's known for its it three is. cultures and uh, so that's a lovely place to um you know look look around there's some lovely shops and beautiful views of all the the, the whole area of Andalusia really it's fantastic yeah and um we're going to go to the beach, aren't we? One one afternoon, yes. Yes. and that'll be lovely. And then I thought we'd have cocktails on the beach in the evening and dinner. So it's going to be a very thrilling, exciting week, I think. <laughs> yes, so, um, I am looking forward. Uh, sorry, where could people go and have a look? What you do? Your Facebook page. Yes, your... my 
yeah um my facebook page um there is by my name and yeah. also with uh, yoga with charmini mm-hmm. and i am now in a few weeks there should be be well now that be so uh mm-hmm. uh a, a web page my web page but it's only in finnish now and i'm working on having it in, in english, english. As well. so yeah yeah mm. but but, but but if people want to visit your um your face we'll put the link below for your Facebook yeah. page yeah. and yes. same for me and we have a lovely um web um landing page on the website giving all the details about the um retreat and also i think we were talking about this earlier if anybody wanted to have a a call a zoom call with me or with both of us to ask about have questions about the retreat i'm going to put a link also on the website page you know it's a big decision to come and do something like this and you know you don't know us perhaps <laughs> And if you um, if you're thinking about it and you'd like a conversation, then we're going to be able to do that, too. So you can feel totally confident about coming and um, knowing a little bit more about uh, Sari and myself. So, well, it's been lovely to talk to you, Sari. Thank you so much. You too. Thank you for setting (laughs) this up. Yes, Yes, thank you. And yeah. um, to the people watching, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments um, because um very happy to answer them. And, you know, if you know some people who you feel that this would be wonderful for, then please feel free to, to share the information. And we've got some interesting deals. If you come with a friend, you get a discount. If you come with a group, you get another discount. So there's lots of different ways that you can come and have the most wonderful, um, fantastic, magical, creative week. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And uh, also, uh, I don't know if we uh, told it or not, but I'm, I'm from Finland and all the Finnish people, you can just call me. Voit soittaa, koska tahansa puhelinnumero tulee tuohon alas myös. <laughs> oh. so that, yeah. so what, did, what, did, what did you yeah. say <laughs> i said that you can call me at any time and i will give you the phone number <laughs> okay we fantastic will, yeah. yeah all right well yeah. we shall catch up again soon and hopefully we will see you in spain either in may um or in september and all the dates are on the website so thank you very much for watching and Take care. Have a great week. All the best. Bye for now. Thank you.